Hey, girl, how y'all doing? What's going on? Honey, y'all not going to believe this, but a lot of people want to know what is going on with Mary J. Blige. And girl, when I tell y'all, we have some reports on Miss Mary J. Blige. Yeah, she's been very quiet, but not for too long. This is what I'm hearing. Mary J. Blige knew a lot of stuff that was going down with Diddy and she was quiet. I also heard that Mary J. Blige was also helping Diddy on a lot of these freak offs with these underage, you know, people out here. So I got this video and I would love to play it for you guys. I want us to listen and see what's going on. Make sure you guys subscribe here at the Messy Sweet Spot. All right, so I may stop and go because it's just something I may just have to say, but we're gonna dive into Mary J. Blige and her taking this with this Diddy freak off and all these things that's going on. I'm sure you guys have heard over 120 people have came out, including kids that Diddy has did this to. And you have to realize too, these kids are grown now. So now they're speaking out. You know, he has been a PDF file uh, since the beginning of time with these parties and these drinking and the baby oil and, and drugging. And they say that he put anything, any sugar boogers in the baby oil and the drinks. And if he massage you with that baby oil, what it does, um, it gets into your pores and it caused you to be paralyzed. And that's when he gets on and he takes advantage, honey. People are saying they have torn behinds uh, from this and torn fronts and back. But hell, let me be quiet. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe here at this messy sweet spot. We need the likes, we need the support, okay? All right, so let's see. Feds did not come to play with Diddy and his associates because they just named Mary J. Blige is one of Diddy's freak off associates and they're claiming that she allegedly, Diddy set other women up and forced them into freak offs. It seems like Diddy's trial is happening anytime soon because the feds are starting to name some of his alleged associates and things are starting to heat up big time. Mary J. Blige and Diddy have had this weird relationship for a long time, and it looks like looks like we finally know the real reason behind this weird relationship. But get this, the streets are now saying that she allegedly helped the Diddy pimp out Aaliyah to Jay-Z and that she knows more about Aaliyah's death than we thought. While the receipts here are very spicy because the feds pulled through with all the receipts to back up these wild claims. So it's becoming clearer and clearer day by day that Diddy Aka the Diddler now is watching his circle get smaller by the minute and honestly his public image is crumbling just as fast. Folks who used to be his ride or die are jumping ship left and right because nobody wants to go down with him for this mess. And now even Mary J. Blige has tried to dip out. But Mary leaving Diddy isn't exactly shocking, but the speed at which she distanced herself definitely raised some eyebrows. Especially once the FBI started sniffing around her business, just like with Jay-Z. Mary always made it seem like she and Diddy were as close as ever you know, ride or die for life, all that good stuff. And if you thought that Diddy and Jay-Z were close, Diddy and Mary J. Blige were practically glued at the hip. They'd been tight since the early 90s with Diddy producing some of her first albums, including her day but what's the 411? So yeah, we're talking about 33 years of friendship older than a lot of us. So Diddy has always given her her flowers for being one of the biggest performers and vocalists of all time. In an interview, he said, Mary J is one of the greatest storytellers in RB history. She created a lane for women around the world to speak their truth to power, so nobody deserves this success more than her. More than being my sister and my best friend, she will forever be a pioneer and the queen of hip hop soul who remains an unstoppable force that can accomplish anything she sets her mind to. But in the late 90s to early 2000s, things between Diddy and Mary J, Blige got real rocky. They had a falling out that got so messy. And for a few years, they were barely speaking, practically acting like each other didn't exist. But eventually, Mary came clean and took the blame for the whole thing. She admitted that she was the one who let everything go wrong. She owned up to being a complete mess back then, saying she couldn't keep her life together, let alone hold down a store. It was all a humbling moment for her, but it opened the door for them to start fixing their friendship and start working together with no more drama. She said, the real reason we split up is me not understanding the business the way I needed to understand it at the time. 
I'm sorry. She explained he had a label. He had a female artist. He had Biggie. But during that time, I was really dogging myself. I was a mess on drugs. Any smart man or businesswoman would have moved away from me. It felt like he was becoming distant. But looking back, I now understand why I wasn't delivering properly. And I wasn't taking care of my health. Now, how can he roll his dice on me? Well, after Didi Fur gave her, they smoothed things over and they went right back to being besties like nothing ever happened. And it seemed like all was forgiven, you know, water under the bridge. Well, until now, that is because Mary's doing a complete 180, trying to act like she and Diddy weren't as close as we all thought. Now she's out here claiming that she cut ties with him a long time ago. The timing is definitely raising a lot of eyebrows and people are side eyeing her because they think that she's just trying to distance herself from Diddy now that his world is basically crumbling and the feds are digging into the lives of everybody associated with him. He's getting slapped with lawsuits left and right and all these accusations are serious. And to top it all off, the feds are circling with possible recall charges and Diddy's basically sitting on a volcano right now. And if we all know anything about some RICO charges, we know that the feds will go after everybody even remotely connected to Diddy and may even charge them. I mean, why all can see what's been going on in Young Tug's case with the feds? It has been more than two years since the case started, and it is nowhere close to being over. But after the raid on Diddy's L.A. Miami houses in March, Homeland Security released a statement saying earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from Heist Los Angeles, see my me and our local law enforcement partners. However, Diddy's lawyers slammed the feds and claimed that it was a bitch hunt. They released a statement that said this unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs. And it's nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding a criminal or civil liability with any of these vagations. So Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. And the feds weren't playing when it came to Diddy. Before long, they were swooping in, detaining people close to him left and right. Even his sons, Justin and Christian, ended up in cuffs during the raid. And it wasn't just them. Two of his trusted assistants got arrested, too. And to make things worse, his alleged supplier, Brendan Paul, got picked up at Miami International Airport for carrying drugs. I'm going to be reading some very questionable stuff. So we ain't seen Brendan Paul since. It was like a storm brewing and everyone knew something big was coming. So those recalls were looming heavy in the air. And Mary, listen, homegirl read the writing on the wall and she chose to separate herself from that drama fast. She didn't waste time either. And she posted a cryptic message on Instagram saying, unfortunately, out of you all met me when I lacked boundaries and was a people pleaser. Let me reintroduce, I burn bridges as needed. Listen why y'all, she trying to dodge them Rico cases. But the crazy part about all this is that Mary J. Blige did all this before the feds arrested Diddy and released those crazy indictment documents about him and his crimes. The indictment documents revealed that Diddy used powerful people in his circle to facilitate his freak offs and help him find girls who they then forced into these foes. The indictment document said comms and other members and associates of the comms enterprise wielded the power and prestige of comms role at comms business to intimidate, threaten, and lure female F into comms orbit, often under the pretense of a romantic relationship. Comms then used force, threats of force, and coercion to cause F to engage and extend an extended S with male commercial F workers that comms referred to as, among other things. F it also said the defendant used the comms business, including certain employees, to carry out, facilitate, and cover up his commercials. Those employees, including security staff, household staff, personal assistants, and high-ranking supervisors and other close associates, acted as comms intermediaries, and their contact was facilitated and assisted by comms control of the comms business. Y'all, y'all. All right, so I want to say here, um, basically what she's saying is comms. Diddy Combs, you know, everybody pronounced things differently. I know some of you guys are sitting there saying, why can't she not, not pronounce Combs? Because clearly she pronounced it differently, you know? Um, so I just want you to guys to keep that in mind. She is talking to Diddy. And, and despite how she pronounces it, because y'all know y'all mispronounce stuff too, okay? We know who she's talking about, so let's not act stupid continued finna engaged in a persistent and pervasive pattern of abuse toward women and other individuals 
at times comms and others acting at his discretion made arrangements for women and commercial S workers to fly to comms location. Comms ensured participation from the women by, among other things, obtaining and distributing narcotics, controlling their careers, leveraging his financial support and threatening to cut off the same and using intimidation and violence in the case. And Y'all didn't know how bad the case was, that he was refused bail now once and not twice, but three separate times. And even though he made a very juicy offer for bail, offering up a whopping 50 million, and according to reports, did his lawyer proposed bail on these conditions, a 50 million bond co-signed by Sean Combs. His mother has said, sister, the mother of his oldest daughter and his three adult sons. He also proposed that the bond would be secured by the equity of Mr. Combs, his residence located at 2 West Star Island in Miami, Florida. The appraised value of the home is about $48 million. The home is unencumbered in anticipation of this bail hearing. August 20th, 2024, Mr. Combs paid off the remaining mortgage of about 18 million so that the home could be used to secure a bond and be free of a mortgage. The document went on to say that the bond would be secured by the equity of Mr. Comps. His mother's home located on 450 Alton Road in Miami, Florida, that Mr. Comps has traveled will be restricted to the Southern District of Florida. In the Southern District of New York to attend court, meet with this council and attend medical appointments, which we will address to the court in a separate sealed submission, as well as the Eastern District of New York or the District of New Jersey, only to the extent that his travel to and from New York involves an airport in those districts. The document then revealed that Diddy has submitted his passport to the authorities in April of this year, but it didn't stop there. He also offered to submit his mom's and daughter's passports, the passports of the following family members who have already surrendered their passports to counsel after the raids on Mr. Combs Holmes, Janice Combs, Chance Combs, Jesse Combs, Delilah Combs, and Love Combs, while even the little baby's passport. If they were willing to do that, then why all know that Diddy was in a crazy tight spot? And Mary J. Blige must have known, which would be why she switched up on Diddy so hard. But get this, it's not only about Diddy's freak off tapes, because it turns out that she was also with young men before they were a voting age, if you know what I mean. Can we talk about the rumors of Diddy allegedly forcing Mary and Mary and I have to stop because she's absolutely right. And I kind of forgot. Do you guys remember when Mary J. Blige, she also have a thing for being with, you know, young boys as well. So Mary J. Blige and Diddy, they are both allegedly a PDF. To a relationship, getting her pregnant and then forcing her to end the pregnancy. Allegedly, Diddy wasn't exactly gentle about it and reports claim that he would put hands on Mary and even force her into using a strap on for his pleasure. There was also talk about how Mary got pregnant by Diddy, but he didn't want it and forced her to get rid of it. You, the incident traumatized her so badly that she decided to never have children of her own after that. She hinted at this in an interview where she said, I have nieces and nephews forever, and I'm always watching how people are scrambling for babysitters. I don't want to go through that. I like my freedom to go and move and do what I want to do. Now I want to have to tend to someone all the time right now. That's where I'm at. But I don't think it's having kids going to happen. Here's the thing. Mary stayed tight with Diddy D in after all this alleged drama. So what's the sudden switch up now? A word in the streets is that the feds have her in their sights. Um, actually, they dug up some, some evidence of something shady that she was involved in back in the day. And that's why she's scrambling to distance herself from Diddy. And that wouldn't be very shocking because there are reports that multiple insiders are snitching extra hard on Diddy in exchange for immunity. And Mary might be one of them. My understanding is that there was a lot of it. And I think to get the indictment that could have been co-defendants or could have been co-conspirators or could have been involved in a Rico case um, have flipped on Sean Combs and they're getting some sort of immunity. Rumor has it that the feds are threatening to wrap her up in the Rico charges unless she spills a tea on Diddy and gives them whatever dirt she's got. But that's not all. They allegedly threatened to bring her up on essay charges. For those who don't know, Mary had a relationship with singer Danny Boy when he was just 16 and she was 24. That's coming back to haunt her even now because Danny recently opened up about it during his interview, reminiscing about the first time he and Mary got close. 
back in 1995 after the Source Awards. He talks about how he married Jay. Blige and a few others like Diddy's baby mama, Mesa Hilton, were all invited to a party. According to Danny Boyd, they were chilling, having some drinks and just soaking up the vibe before he decided to call it a night and head back to his room. But just when he thought the night was wrapping up, he got a call to walk him to another room saying there was someone who really wanted to meet him. But when he got there, he found only Mary Misa inside chilling. I talk out, I left out and she'll call me bitch. I shot called me back up to the room. He said, come back, come back upstairs. Old girl won't see you. So I know the girl that he in the bed with don't want me. So I went in, I'm, he closed the door, shit. And I sit down and I start talking to Mary. And inside, I'm about to lose it because I'm sitting here talking to Mary. She's sitting on the couch and shit, and we ordered some food and some old drinks. He went on to say that Mary got handsy with him, full on flirting and getting into it. She even rested her head on his lap and was getting touchy-feely. Things heated up real quick, like real fast and really intensely. 15, 16 years old, and she land on the couch, and I'm sitting on the other end, and she laid down on the couch and put her head in my lap. Can't be talking about marriage. She wanted me to come back up here. Now she on my lap. And I'm sitting there and I'm wondering, I'm like, okay, what, what is this man up to? And she stayed a couple, she stayed a couple more hours. And uh, we decided to go in another room. It was, it was sweet. We went in another room and laid down. And she laid down with me and she kind of like backed up against me. And every time she backed up against me, I would move away and shit, you know. So yeah, they ended up hooking up, but that wasn't the end of it. Gordon and Danny Boy had spiraled into a full-blown affair. Mary flew him to New York for more rendezvous. He also claimed that she played him, making him believe that he was her main man. All the while, she had another thing going on with Tupac. In that time, I had an opportunity to go out to New York. Well, you know, that's why I was kind of confused when I heard Kurt saying that Mary was pot girl. Uh, cause at that time, she was my girl. At that time, I'm 15, 16 years old, and she's flying me in to see her. You know what it is when a girl back up on you and you young and shit. I'm trying to show her that she ain't phasing me. Well, since Danny was still young at the time, what went down between him and Mary falls squarely into the realm of statutory S, A, and that could land Mary in some serious trouble. And word in the streets is that the feds found this out during their investigation, and somehow it all ties back to Diddy. So, so with Nisa Hilton and Diddy's baby mama being in the room that night, it's not looking good for anybody involved. So it's starting to make a lot more sense why Mary pulled that sudden 180 on Diddy and allegedly started spilling all the tea to the feds. She might be trying to save herself from getting wrapped up in RICO charges or worse, facing those essay bases head on. But if that's not messy enough for you, there are now reports that Mary knows exactly what happened to Ella Alaya. And there are reports that Diddy and his people might know exactly what happened too. Aliyah tragically passed away in a plane crash on the height of her career, and for years there have been whispers and speculation, but her death might have involved more than just a tragic accident. Aliyah had been in the Bahamas shooting a music video, but what many people don't know is that she wasn't even supposed to be there in the first place. The video shoot was originally planned for Florida and everything was set, but on the day of the shoot, the director, Hype Williams, suddenly decided to move everything to the Bahamas without even running it by Ali at first. Once they got to the Bahamas, things went smoothly and they wrapped up the shoot ahead of schedule, but because they finished early, there wasn't any transportation ready to take them back to Florida. Maya reached out to her friend Lenny Kravitz, who kindly sent his private jet to fly her home. However, Hype reportedly stepped in and forbade her from boarding Lenny's jet, claiming that he had made other arrangements. It's for her and the rest of the crew. When the flight Hype Williams arranged finally came, it was way too small for Ali and her entire crew. The plane was overloaded, heavier than it should have been, and to make matters worse, the pilot was reportedly high at the time. Aelia, sensing that something was off, initially refused to board the plane. However, according to some reports, she was given a sedative and carried onto the plane unconscious. Tragically, it wasn't long after takeoff that the overloaded plane crashed, 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 killing Aaliyah and everyone on board. Well, Mary J. Blige has always spoken up about Aaliyah's death with a sense of deeper meaning. Not long after Aaliyah passed, Mary publicly shared her belief that it was a spiritual murder and hinted that there was more to the story than we have been told. I just know that that was a murder. You know what I'm saying? That was a spiritual murder, whether people know it or not, because God don't kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? Whether people know it or not, I could go deep, but a lot of people I would have to really drain. You know what I'm saying? For what I learned, 
And she just was cut down in the prime of her life. At the time, Mary J didn't drop any names, but according to insiders, one of the people she allegedly believed has something to do with Aaliyah's passing was none other than Diddy. The word in the streets was that Diddy allegedly stood to gain millions from Aaliyah's death. And that whole bit about Aaliyah being drugged, it's eerily similar to the stories from the women who've come forward, accusing Diddy of allegedly drugging them. But I need to know more about Hype Williams too. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. But to make things even messier, the streets have been buzzing with rumors that Aaliyah allegedly had dirt on both Diddy and R. Kelly. We all know R. Kelly tricked Aya into marrying him when she was just 15 while he was a grown man. So if the streets are saying that Aaliyah had dirt on him, especially with all the allegations we're now hearing about Diddy, it's not a stretch to believe that there's some truth to it. It looks like Mary might have known where all the bodies are buried when it comes to Diddy, and he is going to be in even more trouble when she finally decides to snitch on him to save herself. And why all know the fans have been all over this drama with Mary J. Blige and they've been leaving comments saying Mary J. Blige gives Madame Tupi Diddy vibes. After she got too old to be passed around, she started bringing the girl eyes for him type stuff. Allegedly, I don't care. She's mad weird, just as bad. If you're complicit, you accept it. It's been a million years. She was riding for him. Don't switch up now that the block is high. But Mary J. Blythe does no more than she wants to say all those around or associated with Diddy should all go and serve time. And she knew exactly what he was doing. Now she's trying to play girl. Bye, I'm not buying it. But I got to know what y'all feel about all this. Do I all think that Mary J. Blythe is going to be singing like the soul canary that she is? Drop it down in the comments below. Below. Honey, this is what I gotta say. I've learned a lot in this video because I totally forgot that, that Mary J. Blige, uh, you know, they say that she likes to mess around with uh, boys too, you know, and you guys have seen boys have came out to testify against Mary J. Blige that Mary was sending them out uh, across state lines to do freak offs with them. And they say that Mary J. Blige, she likes to mess with other women as well. So her and Diddy are, are really just alike. They both like same gender and they both like little boys, you know? Um, so no wonder why she's being quiet because it's a lot of dirt about her that do she don't want to be exposed. And um, now her and Diddy was really tight friends. She was always seen at his birthday parties, but now she's nowhere to be found. Like I would think that you would be appalled and you would be upset that this man uh, deceived you. You thought he was someone else. And now you found out that he was a monster and all this time, Harry J. Blige, he deceived you, but that's not what we're getting. It's like she's just hiding out and she's hiding out because she knew that he was a monster and she's a monster too. And they said they're coming for all of them. So I want to know what are your thoughts on the matter? And we know that Mary J. Blige, she was on Sugar Boogers really bad. And Diddy, he's on Sugar Boogers really bad. They have so much in common. And it was insightful to hear about Aaliyah. Mary J. Blige said that you know, her accident, the plane was not an accident. It was done purposeful. So we know that she's really close with Diddy and R. Kelly, and they are all connected. You know, these individuals are very highly all connected. So I want to know what do you guys think about this? What do you guys like about this program? Are you guys enjoying how I'm doing the format here on this channel, The Messy Sweet Spot? If you are, make sure you guys comment. I love to hear the comments, read the comments, and make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And I do know um, my voiceover lady, she does make mistakes here and there she's not perfect so just please give her a break because we know she was saying, trying to say Aaliyah we know she was trying to say Mary J Blige you know so let's just use our thinking caps all right so I love you guys make sure you guys like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys on another video bye